guys, Mario here. Uh, welcome back to the channel. If you're a subscriber already, thanks so much. If you're new, um, I post how-to videos and whatnot, helpful on Serratos. And so yeah, um, today we're gonna be doing a how-to slash review video. Um, I'm gonna be installing new headlights on my truck, which um, if you've seen Freddie LSX video uh, here recently, a couple days ago, he posted them on his truck. So, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you how to wire those up. If you watch this channel or something like that, you know, you see them somewhere else and you don't know how to wire them. I'll show you the pros and cons, what I think about them. So yeah, um, here I have the depot. Depot Depot headlights. I've had them for about four years now. Highly recommend these. Um, very solid, pretty cheap, unique. I haven't really seen much of these. I usually see like, you know, the ones with the two halos on it and those are just tacky. I don't like them. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be installing those, showing you how to do it. So yeah, let's go take a look at them. Do that. Um, I forgot to say, um, we're also going to be doing, uh, the kit also came with the bumper lights for it, which, you know, in a previous video, I showed you how to do the DLR tubing, um, the homemade version, which turns out pretty good. But let's see what quality they have to offer. So let's, yeah, let's go take a look. And here is what you get. You get two headlights um, left and right and then two lower bumper lights and uh pulling them out the box they feel you know good quality and not bad looking um see the headlight housings they feel they feel i don't know the housing they feel a little plasticky but you know we'll see what I'm worried about mostly is the performance of the low beams, um, how they compare to mine. And uh, if I don't like these, how you know they turn out low beam was, I'm gonna hook them up so I can just use them for like truck car shows or something, you know? But so yeah, um, there you get the housings, the and you get the bumper light housings as well. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, let's get to the install. So we're here at the front of the truck. Um, I got my headlights. I'm gonna pull them out real quick. Uh, just pull the tabs out. You guys should know how to do that. Okay. Pull the headlight out. Plug the bulbs, which I'm running HLDs. Which is why well, I'm wondering how they perform on the new headlights. So yeah, these are the depot housing headlights. They have the, um, hey, the what's it called? Oh, what do you call this? Projector headlight right here and then super bright high beam on that side so yeah um my main concern is will the bulbs fit into the new housing which they should and yeah they should now if you're running leds with the uh fans i'm not sure i don't own any of those so i can't tell you for sure on leds with the fans in the back because i think they're pretty bulky so yeah I don't know about LEDs, but HIDs, let's find out. Okay, so I have the little protective uh, covers off the back. Now I'm going to screw in the, or plug in the HID. And so yeah, I mean, I got it screwed in. It sits pretty tight. We have the low beam and the high beam. And let's see what we got here. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, so it's good too. It's pretty tight right there. So here it is. Now, whenever you put these set these back in, make sure you never turn the headlights whenever you got the protective cover filming on there because my brother did it one time to his truck and it melted the cover, the film into the headlight and he had to buy new headlights again. So don't, don't try to turn your headlights on with the protective film on there. Um, okay. So you have also have the wires for the DLR tube, which are these right here. And I'm gonna show you how to wire that here in a second. Let's first, let's um, see how the bumper lights look. So I have the bumper light out. Um, for this install, overall install, it's gonna be so much easier if you watch my last video. I already installed, you know, one of my videos way, way back, I already installed DLR tubes. So I already pretty much have wire set up ran for both DLR tubes without even knowing it. Um, so I tried it, my best to show you how and you know how to do it. But for now, I'm gonna take the bulbs out and uh, yeah, let me see. I'm gonna take the bumper light out. Let me unplug. The bumper light out now for mine i had a, the you know the dlr set up where when i turn the use the turn signal it would turn orange whenever i turn the daytime run lights on it would be white and so forth so um if you like custom i like these pretty much uh if i like how these other ones turn out i'll leave them on there if not i might do a giveaway sometime in the future with these so yeah subscribe if you know if you want to be a part of that here in the future so here's our new style bumper light with the dlr tubes on the bottom half um these are pretty sturdy you know pretty basic i guess i didn't mean to say sturdy but i guess basic um but what I'm worried about is um, just how bright the little tube is. That's what I'm really, that's what I really want to see what these can do. Um, I want to know if the company used cheap DLR tubes and that's why they're so high. Or I mean, that's why, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to know why these headlights were so expensive. All right. Because I know my depot ones were like 130 or so, and they are bright. But these were like 230 or something, 230 for the set with, with the bumper lights. So let's see if these live up to the hype. Um. So yeah, uh, everybody's concern is about how to wire up the little tube light which is pretty easy now you have your three lights on the bumper you have daytime running light your turn signal and your corner light you're only going to need one tool to figure out what wires to tap into um as far as you know the bulb goes so we're going to be using the middle one because it stays on you know whenever you turn your your light a quarter turn light knob you know what I'm talking about um, so yeah um, you're gonna grab your test light and you're gonna turn uh, the knob a quarter to the left so that the lights turn on quarter turn 
the lights should be on. But for y'all, this one's not going to be on. Okay, so we're just going to focus on the middle one for now. Let me unplug it. Okay. Just the middle one. Now we're going to look for for uh, the light that turns when the test light turns red. Okay. So, testing this one out. That one. Okay, so my test light turned on with the middle one, which is the color brown, and the plug for the middle light. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna turn the turn signal on and uh, to know which light to avoid. If your light blinks, if the um whenever you're testing the wire and the test light blinks that's the one we're not going to use so we're just going to figure out which one is the turn signal which would be this one right here which would be the far left or a green one so that's the why we're not going to use So here's what we came up with. Uh, we're gonna use the middle brown one and the black one. The middle one's gonna be our hot and the black one's gonna be our negative. Now you're wondering what these blue things are over here. Sorry, let me get better. Angle. Okay. These blue things, uh, they're called taps, T-taps. Um, here's what they look like. Here's the part number, female T-tap. Um, they pretty much cr crimp into the wire and it allows a quick um, spade connector to plug into it so you can easily remove it. Um, that's why we're gonna be using them. So in case I wanna switch bumper lights out, I can with ease. So yeah, that's, you're gonna um, use the T-tap on the middle one and the outside one. So go ahead and, you know, get those in and then we'll get to the headlight wire. Our bumper lights, we have the black and white wire. The black's obviously the ground and the white's gonna be the 12 volt, which is the positive, the power. Um, you're gonna strip the ends off like so. And the connectors we're gonna be using for the bumper lights are gonna be I guess they're called piggyback um, connectors. Okay, yeah, piggyback connectors. Why I'm using these is because, let's say I wanna take the headlights out and interchange with the other ones. Well, I don't wanna connect, you know, the headlights and the bumper light um, DLR wires together. And uh, if I did that, I would have to end up cutting the wires every time I wanted to take the lights out. So, therefore, I'm using these to make it easier to take them out. So, yeah, they look like this. One end connects, has the female. And on the top side, it has the male spade. So, it allows to share. So, you can disconnect whatever you don't need. Okay, so we're just going to, of course, connect these in here. And, uh them down. Right, so I got them connected like so. Looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna plug in all of our lights. Okay. I'll check to see. There we go. Okay, corner light. I don't like the fit of that right there. It just pulls out, guys. I don't know if y'all can see this, but the corner lights a little like it just pulls right out. But I'm gonna wait for that one last. Um, let's check out the middle one. Let's see, let's see what kind of 
outfit we have here. Yeah, this one fits pretty good. The middle one does. Okay, let's try the corner one over here. Yeah, that one fits pretty good. <clears throat> Let's try the corner one again. It sits a little flimsy. I don't like that. Um, yeah, they need to work on the corner light um, fitment of the light, the socket. It does not fit good. Unless I got a defective light housing. Do not like that at all. Okay, next I'm going to take my wires. And like I told y'all, the two outer ones, the black and blue one in the middle, which on the connector is gonna be B and C. Let me show you. It's gonna be connector. B and C. Yeah, B and C. B is going to be the 12 volt and B is going to, C is going to be the, the ground. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so let's plug these up into where that's supposed to be. In. I do not like the corner light at all. Now let's turn them on. How's that look, guys? Alright, here it is, guys. That looks really good. That's way better than I thought. That corner light isn't that bright and it's an LED, so I mean. I, I think it's still acceptable. Still looks good. Let's see the turn signal. See how how much it contrasts with the new lights. Yeah, if you were to be turned, you can still tell you were turned. So yeah, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and button them back in and I'm gonna show you how to wire the headlight. Now to wire up the um, headlight, once again, you have red and black wires, pretty common sense. Black is ground, white is 12 volt, or positive. Um, for the headlight, we're gonna be using regular spade connectors, which look like Wait, I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on. I grabbed the right one. There's gonna be basic male spade terminals. Now you're just gonna crimp them on one to each side. So I'll do that right quick. So I got the them connected and crimped. Now we're just gonna pull our bumper light a little lower and uh, locate the middle section where we did the tap. So 
pretty much are gonna stack it on top of each other like so. Black one. And then and the white one where's that? There you are. Over here. <clears throat> Okay. I got them connected together. Now let's see what it, they look like turned on. And there y'all have it. Both lights turned on. Here's the difference in just standard, you know, one quarter turn. This side's super bright with no headlights on, but it, it looks like headlights are already on. And there's the other side. So yeah, they look good, but my main concern is the performance of the headlight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this button in and uh, take the you know, clear lens off, clear, clear little plastic piece off, and so yeah, I'm gonna put both of them in and show y'all what they look like at night. Okay guys, um, I was putting the bumper lights in, and I ran across a problem. Um, I solved it now, but I'm just wanting you to know, I'm just trying to give y'all my best for be possible with these lights, and um, when I was clipping them in, I was I put in, um, this corner clipping, you know, where you slide into the side, and you have this other clip, this one right here. This clip that they have put on these isn't, I guess, it's not, doesn't spread out enough, or whenever it clicks in, it doesn't, you know, click in like it's supposed to. So whenever I uh, plugged it in, it's just really loose, like it just sits there, like, you know, when it plugs in, it just comes right back out doesn't click so I uh, had to get creative with it so because it wouldn't stay so what I did was um, whenever it hooks in there's just enough open area where you can stick a um, zip tie through here like so something like this whenever it's inside and you just zip tie it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. No, you can't. So yeah, I mean, you can see the zip tie here, but that's what keeps it in there. And uh, so yeah, that's another deep, uh, you know, a little minor issue with these uh, set. Just to letting y'all guys know. All right, let's continue. And check it out, guys. I have them installed now. Golly, they come, they come way out of whack whenever you get them. Um, they're cockeyed towards the other planet. Can't even explain it. They're way, way off. So you're gonna have to, you know, readjust them whenever you get you. Um, let's, let's see how they look, guys. Wow, that looks really good. <clears throat> Can y'all tell the difference? Here's a new one over here. Now, don't get me wrong, the projectors are way, way, way bright. 
but let me see how they look like with the hot glue on. Um, yeah, that's crazy, guys. Um, let's see if I can get to focus. Maybe. There it is. Wow, that's insane. That looks so good. Way better. Um, yeah, it looks good. Um, that's really what matters. But I just want to. I don't know if I get the same uh, light output as I do with my projectors. And boy, the projectors are real bright. So yeah, that's enough talking guys. I'm gonna uh, get the other ones installed. And uh, I just wanted to show y'all real quick the before and after. Um, here's the projectors hobby. It's the old style, my custom made uh, daytime running light tubes compared to the new style with the bulb and the tube along with the new tube at the very bottom. So I mean both setups are look good but um yeah time for something new guys. That's all I got really gotta say. Let's get the new ones in and see the outcome guys. Still look good. Looks good. Looks good, y'all. Okay, one thing I do recommend, guys, uh, just to let y'all know, take pictures of inside the housing um, before you turn your lights on, because sometimes um, whenever you turn them on, they will melt inside there. So uh, just let y'all know ahead of time. Take pictures, document. You know, just to make sure you're covered in case you know they melt or something. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and put the light in, and we will be done. Brand. This is what it looks like with every light on, including the fog lights. Get a closer look. Here's the fog lights, bumper lights. The corner light looks pretty good. I'm gonna have to get some new lights around in some areas. Here's the uh, uh, the headlight. It's good. Other side. Look at that. Beautiful. Now this is the only light that's messing up on me. It's got a little halo on the front. Or the mean whatever you call it. So yeah. That's it guys, right here, the final product. Um, yeah, hopefully y'all like the video. Share it, like it, thumbs up, whatever. Just like it. It don't matter. Um, yeah, I like them. I'm definitely going to keep running them. So yeah. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.